St. Patrick's Day. Happy Hat a Cake It Tuesday. Today I'm making a leprechaun hat. Obviously, obs. So let's get started. It's time to patty cake. First, I need to remove my four nine inch round chocolate cakes from their pans, level them and cut them all in half. The base of this cake will be a chocolate cake. I've decided to layer alternating green buttercream and a chocolate buttercream. Once I've layered my top half and bottom half of the cake, I'm gonna put them in the freezer to chill. Time to make our brim. I think it's called a brim, the brim of that. <laughs> Please tell me it's called a brim. I'm gonna roll out my green fondant into a circle. I'm gonna lay mine on a plastic platter to let it set. I line that platter with icing sugar so it doesn't stick trim the edge and then I put it aside to dry. You should let your brim set for about three days. We're gonna cut out our belt buckle and we're gonna cut out the accessories for it. So the little sort of hooky thing that hooks into the buckle and the little holes and we're gonna set them aside to dry. If you know what the hooky thing is called, just write it below because I need to know. When my belt buckle is dry, I'm going to rub it with some vegetable shortening and then I'm gonna use real gold leaf. Gold at 24 carats is actually edible and I'm gonna use that and brush it on the buckle so that the buckle is really brilliant and shiny because it's the one sort of accessory on the leprechaun hat that makes it. Let's get back to the cake. I'm gonna start by carving the bottom half of the hat. The reason I do the hat in two sections is because it's so tall it might collapse on itself. So I use the middle board um, to sort of guide me as I cut inward and carve the bottom half of the hat. We need to dowel this bottom half before we add the top half of the cake and the dowels just help to support the hat and stop it from collapsing. Now that my dowels are in place, I'm gonna place the middle board on the cake and place the top half of the hat onto the bottom half. And then, abracadabra, I'm gonna flip that whole hat over just to make it easier to carve. My cake is flipped so I can begin to carve what is now the top half of the hat. So I carve from that middle board out to the edges. Now I flip it back over and I crumb coat the entire thing with buttercream. We crumb coat a cake so that we can glue all of the crumbs from the cake to the cake. It's not about getting a perfect icing the first time around. It's about just neatening it up so that when we chill the cake and we go back and ice it, we can get a nice smooth finish. Leprechauns only get to shine one day a year. So I'm not gonna cover this hat in one piece of fondant. I'm gonna cover the sides and then cover the top because I want it to be really sharp like a top hat. Starting with the sides, I measure the circumference of my cake and then I roll my fondant out to make sure it's wide enough. Then I use my French rolling pin to help me roll up the fondant and place it all the way around my cake, pressing onto the sides of the cake as I go. I'm very careful to cut the seam really carefully. That will be the back of the hat, and a real hat would have a seam anyway. So I cut a straight line with a knife and I join the seam and I use a fondant smoother to rub it together. Then I use a knife along the top edge to cut off the excess fondant. Time for the top. I roll out a piece of fondant big enough for the circumference, place it on top, then I put a board on top and put the whole cake over and use a knife to trim away the excess once again, smoothing it with a smoother and flipping it back over to reveal a beautiful hat. I'm gonna place my cake in the fridge to chill and move on to our belt. Belt time! I roll out my black fondant and then I cut a long strip that's just wide enough to fit through my belt buckle and long enough to go around the circumference of my cake. I place my hat brim onto my prepared cake board and now I'm moving my very heavy hat cake 
onto the brim and centering it. I think this hat would crush a leprechaun. This hat is heavy. I take my black band out of the fridge and I wrap it around the base of the cake. And then it's time for a shiny belt buckle. So I place our buckle smack in the middle of the center of the belt. And then I cut another strip to be the bit of belt that comes out of the buckle. This is really technical. Pay attention. I really wanted this cake to be fun from the outside in. So when I cut into this cake, we're gonna see the green layers inside and the beautiful velvety chocolate buttercream and the chocolate cake and the green fondant on the outside. And it's just gonna look delicious and taste delicious. I really should have done more research before this interview because I tried to research leprechauns. There are no leprechaun facts, really. It's just, it's like they're make-believe. Let's stop talking about it. Let's just eat it. There's no baker's man. Patty cake, patty cake, Yolanda. <laughs> and that is how you patty cake. I can't wait to see you next week on How to Cake It Tuesday. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel.